Hello and welcome to the dashboard course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a sales dashboard using pivot tables, pivot charts and slices. So let's get started. So here I have a fully functional pivot table dashboard and you can see that I have these four charts here which is sales rep performance, uh, performance by brand, by industry and by country. And here on the left side, I have these slicers. So these are buttons and when you click on any of these buttons, then these charts would automatically update. And let me show you how it works. So as of now, I don't have any filters applied and this is my dashboard. But when I select 2013 here, you would see that all this data gets updated for 2013. And you can see that this button gets in a different color because uh, now this is selected. Similarly, if I select 2014, then all these charts get updated for 2014, all these months and all these regions. I can also select months and I can also select these regions. So for example, if I select Canada, then this is the data for 2014, all these months for Canada. So you can see this is a powerful tool that has quickly made these buttons, these slicers, and then you can create these charts that would uh, instantly update when you make these changes. And it's very easy to maintain, it's very easy to refresh, and it's really, really easy to create. So this would be a short video because uh, if it only takes one chart to create this and then you'll know how to create all these charts. Uh, these slicers are, is something that you can create with a click of a button and then you can design them a bit. So let me first show you the data here. I have the date, I have year, month, uh, the region or the country, I have sales rep name, brand name here, I have alpha, beta, gamma and chi and I have customer industry where uh, the customer has bought these brands so the customer was for banking, retail, telecom, electronics, healthcare and I have the sales value. Now what I've done is using this data I have first created a pivot table and this is the pivot table so these are different tabs here sales rep, region, brand and industry and using this I have created this dashboard. Now let me quickly show you how you can do this so if you have to create a pivot table using this and uh, if you are very new to pivot tables I would suggest you go and check out the pivot table video that I've given with this course it would cover pivot table and pivot charts uh, from A to Z everything is covered there so you would get a good head start and then you can then come back to this video and watch how to create these dashboards so in this case to create the pivot table the keyboard shortcut is Alt N V and when you press Alt N V it would open this create pivot table dialog box. If you don't want to create the shortcut you can go to insert and here you have pivot table icon and when you click on it it would again open the same thing which is create pivot table dialog box. Here it has already guessed the table range so I would keep it that way. I've selected new worksheet because I want my pivot table to be in a new worksheet instead of the same existing worksheet. But again, you can choose to keep it here. I would suggest always go for the new worksheet option. And then I could click OK. And as soon as I do this, you would see that it has inserted sheet one here for me. This is the area where my pivot table would come. And this is the pivot table fields pane where you can select what all data you want to display here. So in this case, let me select date. And as soon as I select date, you can see that these dates appear here. And I can select sales value. So I can select either select it or I can simply drag it here. And you can see that now I have the sum of sales values. So I have these dates and I have these sales values. Instead of having the date column here, I can also have the year column. And you can see that it would give me 2013, 2014 and 2015. Now to create a slicer using this, I need to go to uh, insert here. And within insert, I have this option of slicer. And when I click on it, it would open this dialog box which is insert slicers for all these fields so you can see I have date year month region sales rep brand customer industry and sales value so in this case what I would do is I would select year and I would click OK and you can see that it has inserted the year slicer here along with all these three values and now what happens is if I click on 2013 then it would filter this data for 2013 only. If I select 2014, it would give me the data for 2014. If I want to clear all filters, I can click on this. And I can also select multiple years by just 
pressing control key and then selecting say 2013 and 2014 so it would give me the data for both of these years another important thing here is that when I'm making these changes you can see that nothing is happening in other tabs here where I've already created pivot tables so I have this pivot table say by brand I have it by region I have this by sales rep name but nothing is happening when I change this so let's take an example here in case of sales rep let's remember this value which is 22139 and when I come back here and I select 2014 nothing happens but I want to make sure that when I click on this all the pivot tables should get updated so to do that I would click here go to options and here I have report connections and as soon as I click on report connections you can see that there are these pivot table name and there are these uh, tabs here so you can see it's pivot table one sheet one pivot table four sales rep pivot table four region pivot table four industry which means that now you can connect these what I did I created a new pivot table from the data tab so it created a new pivot table one for me but it already had pivot table four so what I would do is I would simply connect all these and when I have connected these and when I click OK see what happens when I click on 2013 and I go to sales rep now it becomes 23814 and now when I come back to this and I say select 2013 and 14 it becomes 45953 which means that when I make a change here in this slicer or when I selecting when I select some of the years this change is getting updated in all these tabs in all these pivot tables and this is the feature that I would use to create this dashboard because if you see here when I make a change here all these charts get updated and all these charts are linked to these tabs so now what a simple thing that I need to do is if you need uh, creating this dashboard from scratch you have this data here you can simply resize it again you can go and have all these styles here so I I've created my own custom styles you can select from these light theme dark theme or you can again create your own style and you can simply place it the way I have done it here in the dashboard now you would see that this here are uh, adjacent as compared to this where this is a vertical uh, slicer so to change this I would right click on this go to slicer settings sorry slicer properties go to size and properties and here I can change the height the width and I can also change the number of columns in this case there is one column but I can say I need three columns here and you would see that instantly it has made it in that this format where I have these years in a horizontal line and I can simply resize it and this is something that you can do for all of the slicers so you would have the option to change button height in this case I've made it more so I have my ears displayed in such a fashion and I have uh, this width a little more than the original one so now I can simply copy this and I can paste it in the dashboard and it would look like this similarly you can also have the month filter and to get the month filter I would again go to insert slicer and here I would select month and when I click OK I have this similarly the way I did it for this one I can also have the month slicer formatted in this case you would see I have three columns so I would again go back right click go to size and properties and here I would make this three and you can resize uh, buttons if you want so that it fits perfectly here and it looks really professional and really nice and you would see how easy it is to create these slicers with just a couple of clicks you have created a slicer that would automatically update your entire pivot table all your pivot charts so now I have these slicers in place another slicer that I want is for the region so I would again go to insert slicer and here I would oops I need to select the pivot table first I would go to insert slicer and here I would insert region and now it has given me all these regions so you can again similarly have the same kind of formatting that I have done here uh, put it in different columns in this dashboard I have done it with two columns because uh, I wanted to fill the space so that it looks nice and aligns perfectly with these charts so now this part is taken care of now you need to create these charts 
and to create these charts you would have to create these different tabs the reason being that when you use this chart and when you click on any of these slicer buttons you would want this data to update and this chart is linked to this pivot table so I would have to create these different tabs for all these different charts in this case I have created a tab for sales rep and within sales rep as you can see all I need to do is just put sales rep here and I would put sales value here what I have also done is I have also put count of sales value and let me show you how to do this so you have nothing as of now here you would simply drag sales rep here you would drag sales value here and then again you would drop sales value here and now go to value field settings and select count here so the first one is giving me the sum of the values all the sales done by Alex this one is giving me the count of sales done by Alex so now I would create a pivot chart using this and to do that I would go to analyze and here I have this pivot chart option so now when I click on pivot chart it would ask me what kind of chart do I want to insert here and I would go with this chart so I would select this and you can see I have two series here one is for sum and one is for count but I don't want count here I want count as a line so I would simply right click go to change series chart type and here I would change this to line and put it on secondary axis and as soon as I do this you can see I have this chart but I don't want these fields here I want to delete these so first of all I would delete this legend I can delete these grid lines and to delete these simply go to format to analyze and here you can check field buttons and when you click on field buttons these things would automatically go away and if you click on it again it will come back this is here because you can then use these filters you can select which sales rep you want here but in my case I don't want this because it doesn't make my chart look good so I would simply go to analyze and click on field buttons now your chart is ready and if I copy this chart here and put it here on sheet 1 where say you're creating a dashboard see what happens when you click on 2013 this chart would update because these slicers are already connected to this data and therefore whenever you make a change this would happen see nothing happens when you change these regions uh, the reason being because I've not connected this slicer so to connect this slicer I would go to report connections and here I can simply check this Now to create other charts, which is chart for brand, for industry and for country and see what happens. It's only showing me Korea here because I have only selected Korea here and I connected it to that one. So I would remove these filters and here it shows me all the countries now. So here I also need to create these charts, which is sales by brand, by industry and by country. And this is exactly the same way you would uh, do it for this here so in this case it's a combination chart but in region it would simply be a simple column chart so I would go to analyze pivot chart insert this chart here and go to field buttons remove these remove this total value and you can then give it a color in this case I have created a bar chart so you can instead of this column chart you can change the chart type to bar chart you could have done that initially as well so here it creates a bar chart and then you can simply format it so this is how I have created all these charts in this pivot table and you can see it hardly took me 10 minutes to create this uh, fantastic dashboard and there are some formatting that I've done for these slices but the good part here is that it doesn't take any advanced Excel skill to create this dashboard all you need to know is some functionality of uh, pivot tables and with a few clicks you can create this a couple of drawbacks of uh, pivot charts is that it's not so dynamic as compared to normal regular Excel charts because uh, you would see that here if I say select January or maybe some other country here and I only select say one country and March and 2013 you would see that it shows me uh, the chart in such a fashion which doesn't look good but there is not not much I can do about it because uh, if it's showing me this big bar this is a formatting thing that cannot be customized in pivot chart so it's a bit difficult but if you are working with a lot of data and you have to refresh your data again and again then it's a good idea to use pivot charts because they are very dynamic and they would make your work really easy so this is how you can create a pivot table dashboard 
in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.